Don't study science if science doesn't excite you. And don't study chemistry if you don't understand it. Now, this is not me saying my guru said that. Now, what really happened? Let me tell you a story of my own life. When I was in class 11th and 12th, I hated chemistry, especially organic chemistry. This head could not understand even a single word of organic chemistry. And on the top of it, the pressure to succeed in life and all of that. And of course, to some extent, bad teachers contributed to a lot of degrowth in my life. Truth be told, I secured only 63% marks in my chemistry paper in 10 plus 2. Now, that was really bad. I was the lowest scorer in chemistry in my entire batch. Now, having said that, it was really insulting, upsetting. So I said, I don't want to pursue chemistry. So I enrolled in a course, Bachelor's of Pharmacy. But nobody told me that it's all chemistry. First day of my class, I realized I have landed myself into a pool of chemistry. So now the question was, should I run away or should I face it? Now, my father had spent a lot of money to you know, get me to Bengaluru to study in that college. He had paid a lot of fees. There was no going back. Even if I had run away, that money was gone. And though that era, colleges won't refund money, right? So I said, okay. So now my fate, my destiny is written. So I'll have to fight. So I'll have to study. I started studying chemistry, especially organic chemistry. And I realized that organic chemistry is amazing, but only if you find the right teacher. Now, this is something I am repeating you. If you are not understanding organic chemistry to some extent, it's your teacher's fault also. But in this video today, I'm going to talk about the organic chemistry career growth, how to become an organic chemist in India. Because I have been through that path, I know how it works. But of course, because of certain reasons, I chose to start companies like Biotechnica and Rasainica. But today I'm here to talk about how can you succeed in your career in organic chemistry. So first things first, in your high school, find a good chemistry teacher. If you don't have it, well, chemistry may never be your forte, especially during your bachelor's, because bachelor's is the foundation of your chemistry, right? During your undergraduation, you should pursue a BSc in chemistry. Uh, the main subject should be chemistry. Uh, honors in chemistry is uh, the best. Uh, you have to choose a specialization, or of course, they will teach you organic, inorganic, and physical chemistry, but you should try to pursue it from a top college. Now, which are the top colleges in uh, chemistry? So you have Indian Institute of Science, several IITs, uh, University of Delhi, BHU, ICT Mum Mumbai. Uh, then you have Loyola College, Chennai, St. Xavier's Mumbai, Ferguson College, M Pune, Christ University, Bangalore, and many other private uh, universities are there where you can pursue your BSc in chemistry. Now, after that, of course, you might have to write some entrance exam for your master's. During your bachelor's also, you might write an entrance exam. Not really recommend it, but if you want, you can write CUET and other things. Now, once you have completed your bachelor's, the entire focus turns towards the specialization. Now, during your master's, you have to choose organic chemistry is, is your specialization. There are various entrance exams conducted by IASC, NISERS, and all those um, NITs, which where you can pursue your chemistry degree. Now, once you have got into chemistry, one important thing you have to know is uh, the chemistry part is dictated by three things. The first is the college infrastructure, the second is the quality of teacher, and the third is your interest. So of course you have the interest, but now you have to land in a college which has the right college infrastructure because if the labs are not well equipped, you will suffer. You'll have to go out for a hands-on training. You'll have to go out for a lot of exposure. Of course, for industrial expo exposure, you will always have to go. Now, a frequent question people will ask is, should I go for a chemical engineering or regular chemistry? My suggestion is, if unless you want to go into the process of a company like a biotech or a chemistry company, you don't need to go for a chemical engineering. You can go for direct organic chemistry, BSc and MSc. You have to write some entrance exams like IIT JAM for MSc entrance and CUET PG for entering to MSc. You are doing your MSc. There are three things again you have to remember. The first thing will be the course. Please don't ignore the curriculum. Curriculum is very important. That's the base. The second thing which you have to create or which you have to learn is do some projects during your semester breaks. See, semester 
breaks is not about going home. Of course, you can go and meet them, but find out around your home and nearby if you can do some kind of hands-on training, some kind of project, or you can always look for projects on Rasayanika. There are several online projects happening on Rasayanika and chemistry, which you can pursue. So that's about the semester breaks. So you have done some projects, now comes the next part. By the time you are in the final year, you should have found a good place, a nice place to do your internship. Because if you don't do the internship, you don't get a taste of how the industry works, right? And once you have done that, it is very simple and easy to succeed in your life because you know which company to go and how to get a job because you would already have the industrial exposure. After MSc, what should you do? Should you do a PhD or should you not do a PhD? Now, that's a question which obviously is very personal. But uh, to me, if you ask, there are two different segment of people. One person who wants to get a job quick is from a poor background who doesn't have you know enough money to last long and uh, you know wants to gain experience and grow in his life. So okay you do a job after your MSc. But if you want to go for a PhD make sure you're doing a specialization from a top-notch lab and for doing that you have to qualify the CSIR net in chemistry exam and that also training you can take on Rasayanika. So once you've done the training you qualify the PhD entrance exam and then you go for PhD and that also you should do from top institutes like IISC, from TIFR, from uh, BHU, from DRDO, BARC, these are the places you should do your PhD in chemistry. If you do from these places, chances of getting a successful organic chemist career is very, very high. Now, apart from that, there are various scholarships also available for you during your uh, bachelor's and master's, such as Inspire Scholarship for Higher Education, then Kishore Vagyanik Protsahan Yojana, then National Talent Search Exam, private NGO scholarships are also available, and all these information will come on Rasainika's scholarship section, so you have to stay subscribe to Rasainika's free newsletter. Now, apart from that, the, uh, you can also, for temporary projects, you can write for to DBT, DST and CSIR for grants and you can do those projects in a CSIR lab also. Now, coming to the career pathway which you have to follow. Now, there are three career pathways you can follow. The first will be wet lab R&D. The second will be government jobs. The third would be dry lab. Now, you have to choose which one you want to uh, go for. Now, wet lab R&D is where you are playing with chemicals. There can be hazards, there can be some occupational issues because you're playing with chemicals. It, it can injure you, it can harm you, you may inhale them. So, a lot has uh, and, but of course, as an organic chemist, you have to do that. Uh, if you do a R&D, uh, if you want to go into R&D, various pharma companies and organic chemical companies are there where you can get a job. A list is available on Rasainika for that. Now, if you want to go for a government job, then there are various government uh, job openings which comes up in CSIR institutes uh, for uh, various scientist positions, scientist C and D positions. And then, of course, for this, you need a PhD. Now, if in case uh, you want Want to go into the regulatory side you can always go into the drug inspector or uh, UPSC based research analyst and forensic science based jobs but of course that won't be purely organic but that's a path to get a job. Now coming back to the defense organizations that's another uh, part of the job which you can do as an organic chemist you can get a job in DRDO. Now you won't have a public life but you will have a highly rewarding life and you will be protecting the country through your research. DRDO laboratories are working currently on materials, uh, explosives, polymers and uh, they often need organic chemist. Now Baba Atomic Research Center which is BARC in Mumbai has different uh, which comes under the Department of Atomic energy by the way they have various um, research going on in nuclear chemistry radio pharmaceuticals materials chemistry and it conducts a exam called as OCES DGFS exam for science for postgraduates and you can apply there and you can become a scientific officer now apart from that as an organic chemist you can also get into ISRO which is Indian Space Research Organization which hires chemists for various uh, ISRO projects such as chemical propellants and polymer center now apart from that you have ICMR and DBT which has a vast network of labs, CSIR labs where you can get a job. Now the growth in these organizations will be steady not exponential but if you go to industry of course it will be uh, exponential. Now one important thing you have to know um, is the comparison in between the private sector and the public sector jobs. The private sector jobs will grow faster but it will require a lot of effort. The public sector jobs will grow slow, the salary will grow, grow slow but it will be stable, you have just a fixed work-life balance. But when we come to the dry lab, now that is where 
it is better than wet lab it is better than government and it is exploding with opportunities that is where pharmaceutical industry is now moving and that is where chem informatics ai ml in organic chemistry and drug discovery is where the industry is moving the biggest employers in the world are in pharma and they are hiring organic chemists in india for example sun pharma Dr. Reddy's, Cipla, Pfizer, Lupin, Biocon and various other uh, companies. Now, you could be contributing to any of these companies. You can also get into biotech and agrochemicals. You can get into chemistry and material science companies. You can get into cosmetic and consumer good, good companies. Now, what are the roles you'll play? You could be creating synthetic organic chemicals, so a synthetic organic chemist. You could be analyzing chemicals, organic chemicals, so analytical chemist. You could be working in QA, QC, you could be a production uh, chemist and you could be a process chemist. You could get jobs such as formulation scientist or regulatory affairs or patent analyst. Apart from that, you can also get into sales and marketing if in your city there is no chemistry company. Now, this is where the entire package leads to one simple question. How much money will earn? So, you will earn money in between 5 to 7 lakhs at a starting stage and it will steadily grow to 24 to 48 lakh per annum as you succeed in your career and life. So, uh, for a person who has 25 years of experience, I am seeing a crore of package also if they have done things right, that he extended at their MSc, PhD and then became a leadership, to a leadership position in a pharma company. So, these are the things you have to keep in mind while you are planning for your career in organic chemistry. But remember, on the top of it, soft skills is very important. If you cannot speak your science, then science is not yours. So, you have to know how to speak science in one of the best ways. To improve your communication skills is watching, of course, our videos and, of course, attending conferences, workshops, attend seminars, offline or online, participate in uh, various seminars as a speaker. Initially, you will stumble, but later on, you will win. So, the timeline and action plan, if you ask me, uh, class 11th to BSc and MSc, build on your foundation during your master's, build on your application side and of course the technical side and skill sets. By the time you have finished your master, your soft skills should be perfect and that will land you into a job immediately. But if in case you want to do a PhD, remember CSIR net is mandatory. Without it, you cannot get in. Apart from that, of course, you can write gate exam also so that you can get into some PSUs also which hire for chemistry. Now, overall, the industry job will reward you. The, the government job will be stable while the dry lab will be explosive. Now, question is, can you go abroad with this kind of a formula? Yes. If you do a dry lab, chem informatics, AIML and chemistry, if you learn that, you can go abroad also. And the highest rewarding futuristic, more payment will come, more salaries will come if you learn AIML and chemistry. And that is where Rasaika comes up with AIML and chemistry hands-on training program. The details are given in the comment section. Check it out. And then you can learn organic chemistry using AI. You can use AI in your research and you can design chemicals, organic chemicals, which don't exist in nature, but have been created using AI. And that is where the world will come to you, hire you and reward you. So the shortcut to get into the organic chemistry would be going through this, the route of uh, dry lab instead of wet lab but of course you will have to make your hands dirty in chemistry otherwise you can't really survive wet lab is important so thank you so much for watching this video i hope i was able to do justice don't forget to follow rasainika subscribe to our social media channels because all organic chemistry jobs all internships project positions all admission alerts scholarship positions scholarship alerts will come at rasainika.com so subscribe to us subscribe to this channel and we will make you successful very soon all the best.